I was very disappointed by The Force Awakens. Now, if you're wondering what my thoughts are on that movie, then go back to the very first video on this channel where I do talk about it. So what are my thoughts on Rogue One? You may well, I was very impressed. Now, I didn't like the opening scene to Rogue One. I'm just getting that out there right now. The fact that they deviated from the format of the original Star Wars opening is something that I really didn't like. I felt like it was kind of a sin to not open Star Wars with that powerful opening theme that has been so iconic in the Star Wars universe. Not just in terms of movie scoring, but just in terms of music in general. Although I gotta say, this is one of the best movies I've seen in a long time. I went to go see Rogue One with a buddy of mine. Now he told me that he saw it three times and that it was really, really good. So my expectations went up a bit when he said that. I liked that Rogue One was at least not like The Force Awakens. I've seen The Force Awakens twice. It's been over a year since the last time I saw it. More than five years actually. And I have absolutely no desire to see it again. I will say that Rogue One definitely had the Star Wars feel to it. George Lucas talked a bit about the original trilogy and how they set different locations for each movie to make it seem like they were on different worlds. And I think that it worked for the original trilogy. And I'm glad that they looked back to the originals so that they could get inspiration for this. I loved how on Jeddah, they created this look where we felt that we were in the Middle East. And the town where Jin and Cassian were in, that town and all the locals seemed to be dressed up with Middle Eastern inspired clothing. And I loved Edu and how they were able to make it look like a world of nothing but rocks under the cover of a very heavy rain. I was talking to a friend of mine about the originals and Rogue One. He was telling me about how he didn't like that they added all the characters that had some sort of physical ailment or augmentation done to them, and that he wished that they could have had characters in Rogue One that were like the original characters like Lando or Han. And on some level, I agree with him on that. I like the characters Chirrut Imwe, Sao Guerrera, Baze Malbus, and Bodhi Rook. Even the Imperial droid K2SO was really funny. Although Chirrut seemed like he didn't really belong in a movie like this. I think he belonged in later episodes of Star Wars where perhaps he could be Rey's trainer or he could be somewhere else training more Jedi secretly. And for that matter, I don't think they should have had any of these characters in this movie, to be honest. Not because they were bad, but because instead of having them here, I think they should have saved them for later Star Wars movies. Because the Diabolus Ex Machina, where we knew that we were either never going to see any of these characters again, or they were going to be killed, was only inevitable. So why waste them in a movie where they are only used once? I mean, it's a sad reality, but it is what it is. Rogue One is an amazing movie. And though parts of it were disappointing, especially the opening scene with the scrolling credits and the fact that there wasn't enough Darth Vader, I will still say that Rogue One is one of the best Star Wars movies ever made. I would say it's even better than A New Hope. And the reason I think that is because of the fact that I felt like they tapped into something that even George Lucas himself didn't really comprehend or understand about his own world. Is that they made it feel like an adventure that we were actually getting to go through space and learn about all these new different places and alien creatures, discovering all new things, and that we were going to a galaxy far, far away. So, I would recommend seeing Rogue One, even if you hated The Force Awakens like I did. Rogue One, A Star Wars Story, gets 4.5 stars out of 5.